Hi, my name is uh, Randy Opat. Uh, I'm a corporate pilot and have been a corporate pilot for approximately 40 years. Um, I fly what are called Gulfstream jets and also helicopters. And we're currently in my hangar here in Florida and I wanted to talk a little about the product and my experience with the product. Uh, this is my R-44 helicopter uh, made by Robinson uh, Helicopter in Torrance, California. It's uh, a four-place helicopter with a reciprocating engine in it. Um, and uh, what you're looking at back here is the exhaust of the reciprocating engine. And what I always had a problem with is this area right here would bring, build up with a lot of the exhaust. And that exhaust is extremely corrosive, uh, as a lot of other pilots uh, have found out. And uh, the product Doug gave me, I thought, I'll try it on here. Well, what happened is I just cleaned the area. Uh, I actually wiped it on, probably used less than an ounce, and uh, let it cure up, and then flew the helicopter probably about uh, 40, 50 hours, and absolutely had no issue anymore with the exhaust sticking to it. As a matter of fact, if you look carefully, you'll see up in this area there's still some exhaust here, and you'll see my hand, and it just simply wipes off. Nothing sticks to the product, uh, and the corrosive uh, exhaust was a real issue, uh, deteriorating the paint and uh, also just trying to get it off. Uh, this is my 68 Arrow. I've had it since the early 70s. Uh, originally, I had it uh, repainted in the uh, mid-70s, and over the period of time, the uh, paint started to chalk up, as paints do over the years. And uh, I thought I would experiment uh, with the product. Uh, so uh, what I did is uh, I didn't sand down the airplane. I cleaned it very thoroughly. Prior to doing that, I, I talked with Doug, and he said, Randy, you're probably going to pick up some speed from the airplane. I said, Doug, let's, let's find out. And I did a closed course between where I'm based and uh, Sebring, Florida, and uh, calculated uh, the, the temperature, the uh, speed, uh, the manifold pressure, the RPM, uh, the altitude, and uh, did it on, a, on a, this closed course prior to putting the product on brought the airplane back in, cleaned up the airplane, uh, and spent a week uh, coating the airplane. I used less than a pint on the entire aircraft, which probably equates down to pr less than two pounds. And you can see the result of what happened uh, in terms of the finish of the aircraft. Uh, what was once extremely chalky paint uh, brought a gloss back, but more so, uh, what has happened to the aircraft is uh, it's glass smooth. So what I did, I ran the closed course again between where I'm located in Sebring, Florida, uh, simulating or trying to duplicate the conditions that I initially flew it in to see if there was any speed change. And uh, I ran the course, and I picked up in the neighborhood of just under three knots on the closed course. So that proved to me uh, that the product, even though I only picked up less than two pounds, there was something about the product uh, that picked up the speed of the airplane. The additional benefit, besides picking up uh, the speed, uh, there's no bugs that stick to the aircraft anymore. The other area that uh, was very important, as you look here to where the exhaust comes out, uh, I had the same problem here as with the helicopter. The exhaust residue would build up underneath here, and you may see some of it uh, with the camera. And if you'll note, just a very simple wiping, all the exhaust, all the corrosive elements come immediately off. I've used it uh, on some of the corporate aircraft I fly. I fly, uh, uh, besides helicopters, I fly an aircraft called the Gulfstream. 
and uh, this particular Gulfstream 4 I was flying, I used it uh, on the uh, wheel rims that we get a lot of uh, brake dust on, and the same thing held true. Uh, the brake dust simply would not stick to the rims. The rims always looked uh, good. Then I coated a leading edge uh, of the aircraft on it. Again, all the same results were true. Bugs simply would not stick to the leading edge of the aircraft. Now on the big Gulf Stream, I don't know what that equated to in terms of increased performance, but I can tell you on the leading edge of the Gulf Stream, I didn't get the oxidation uh, that I normally get uh, on the leading edge uh, from oxidation of the aluminum. The aluminum stayed bright and bugs simply would not stick to it. So uh, there was an additional use. I was flying a, a larger helicopter called a Sikorsky S-76 for a company. And one of the problems was that uh, the exhaust from the two jet engines on the uh, helicopter, the S-76, the exhaust would go over the rear part of the, the top of the fuselage and onto the vertical stabilizer. Uh, like my helicopter uh, and like the Aero, uh, I got to be a believer in it. I had the aircraft cleaned. We ended up coating the vertical stabilizer in the back of the fuselage and the problem uh, was no longer a problem. The residue from the jet engine exhaust would simply wash off and would not, uh, nothing would stick to it. Uh, one of the things I didn't talk about uh, was the propeller and the leading uh, edge of the wings and the nose area. Uh, I used the product uh, on the propeller and uh, found out that a uh, couple of things happened. Uh, one, that uh, it didn't seem to chip as much. Two, uh, the bugs would not stick to it. Uh, that may have been a factor also in the increased uh, performance, the uh, speed increase I did get on the airplane. Uh, I, I couldn't quantify whether it was the prop, the leading edge, the combination of both that picked up the speed. I can simply verify that it did pick up the speed. But uh, as you can see the prop, uh, now after approximately 50 hours, there's almost no deterioration on the leading edge and uh, no deterioration on the prop. Bugs simply wipe off of everything. And you can also see, I believe up on the top of the calling, now this paint job goes back to the 70s. And you can see the reflective quality. Once you've put on the product, how it increased the gloss. If you put a rag on here, the rag will simply slide off. I met Randy probably, was it four or five years ago, to start telling him about some of these uh, special coatings I've been developing, this clear ceramic coating, uh, which I've been working on for probably six, eight years now. So Randy uh, basically got trying it on a lot of different things, and this chair here was one of the ones he's uh, tested it on with uh, some pretty amazing results. Uh, he talks more about speed increase of two to three knots, but I prefer to look at it uh, more as increased fuel efficiency. Probably, uh, what, if you throttle back to maintain your original cruise, uh, maybe four tenths of a gallon per hour? Approximately, yes. So if you figure that out, over a total of, what, 9.6, eight, 10 gallons an Correct. hour, you're looking at, uh, what, maybe a 5% increase in fuel efficiency. Right. That's just one of the small advantages here. Uh, and using only a little over a quart of material to do a complete clean is what's really astounding with it. Now our Ceram Lock series, uh, we've got versions of it for marine use, uh, for aircraft, for motorcycles, it's, uh, the list is just exploding. And our best uh, testimonials all come from our customers that are trying it, they're just astounded at what it does, at this, even at this early stage.